Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Suntime and Timing and this is our technical video report for Tuesday, September 10th, 2024. Um, so I really didn't do a whole lot of trading today. Um, I didn't get home until close to 1.30 in the morning and when I got back to my place, uh, they redid my bathroom so I had stuff everywhere. So it was kind of a just a, a nothing day, but we saw, you know, day two that the bulls put in a nice thing. We saw a head fake down and uh, in support held and they moved up. But in the bigger picture, I mean, it looks, it really does look like just a bear flag that's forming right here. And if we just take, we could draw a channel and say, this is the channel on it right here. So we're going to go boom, boom. Oh, hang on one second. Okay. So th this would be the channel right here. So if it's, if it's going to come up, we're, we have to keep an eye on, uh, right around this uh the 55 25 level but really the the important part is going to be right at this this 5507 but in any case we're really what we're looking at is the what is going to be if we head higher tomorrow we have uh cpi numbers it's going to be i think it's going to move to market i think the market's going to move tonight after the um after the presidential debate and the reason why um, i mean it, it's i i know I'm, i i don't mean to get po political on you but this is i mean it has everything to do with the market is you know if uh kamala freaking freaking sorry about that gets put in office somehow some crazy reason um she is probably one of the most far left people that are on this planet and she will be the first one to put in uh taxes on on unrealized capital gains that will our entire housing market will crumble our entire stock market will crumble everybody at any every business would go out it, it's one of the dumbest things i think i've ever heard anybody say and yet she's not really backing down on it and not saying no okay that was a mistake what she said so the street hears this and and trust me if, if she pulls something off good tonight where you know i mean all she has to really do is not say anything you know really really stupid and if she does then the you know every all media stations are all oh you know they they want her so they're going to say what a great job she did and if she starts moving up in the polls I, i'm almost positive that we are going to see the s p trading all the way down into the four thousand level because the closer she gets to becoming president the the more this market is going to sell off and if she wins it, it i meant i know i know uh trump said that the market was going to crash with biden it should have uh luckily we you know we, we were the, the tallest midget on the basketball court and being that we are heading, you know, we're getting closer and closer to World War Three. money travels back to the reserve currency, which is ours. So they want to get in in any way possible. So it's stocks, it's bonds, it's all that stuff. And uh, that that's really what kept things going. So here you can see, you know, if we get up, this is going to be the resistance. If they can get above the, the 5505 level. But overall, it, it really just looks like a bear flag. So... If we did the pattern that I was following is is very simple. It's an A B, and now we're going to make a C. And you can see this is right here. I'm actually going to move this right here, and this is the right at that 55.35 would be an A B C. If it's going to be in the same exact formation, one for one. So the, it you know there's a few things that are pointing to the to the 50 55.35 level. And really, if the if we see the the bears get above the I mean the bulls get above the fifty five seventy three, then the bears are going to start to get a little nervous. But if we take a look at the resist, this is a fib resistance from here from this top to this bottom, and here we we'll have this is the. Uh, 50 percent 62 78 so we're at the 38 right now and you can see that it, we we don't we have some bearish divergences in place but uh, like i said the the cpi numbers tomorrow if they come out with the street likes then they're going to gap right over this um if they do that then we just want to keep an eye again we're back to that 55 30 55 35 level and if they get above that then we're looking up at the 55 60 
And like I said, 56, I, then I think the Bears lost another great opportunity and we're probably going to go up to make new highs. Now, if the Bears can get it through this 55, uh, 54 40 before any of that happens, then we're coming down testing these the, the 53 or 5400 but most likely it's going to break it because remember this is just a bear flag and if it breaks down then we'd be really be looking at a move coming into remember the target zone 53 22 52 32 so we have there's there's a lot going on tonight there's no sense in even really guessing i'm just saying if if we if kamala pulls something off that they did did TV stations can say that oh she won the debate this and that uh, don't don't be surprised to see the market open uh, uh, down a hundred points the S and P um, they they do not want her in office but yet that's it's uh, you know they, they, everybody's kind of on her side and hoping that she wins and again I don't my the only reason why I'm saying this is more from from an economic uh, perspective and what would happen if any of her uh, just say uh, regulations i don't even know what they are what she wants to do if they ever came into play uh we the world the world economy would fall i mean that's basically it because everybody that has their money in here will pull it out and it, it's a it's a nightmare so um let's see what plays out tonight again i'm sorry i was not really this was not to be uh political again the, but the market has everything to do with what's going on in this election so with that have a great night and i'll talk to you guys in the morning